Hey, what's up guys? Tito here with Aloha Android and for today's video, basically we're going to be taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy J7 after owning it for 8 months. I'm going to give you guys my thoughts and opinions. Has any of my thoughts and opinions have changed? You guys will find out right now. So cue that roll and let's dive right in. Okay, so here's the Samsung Galaxy J7, and a um, couple of things I want to say as far as the build of the device. This is a pretty solid device. Uh, yes, it is made of plastic. It is made of plastic with chrome uh, plating on it and glass up front. But hey, at the end of the day, this device still will do what you need it to do and it feels pretty solid. I do love where the uh, headphone jack is placed. I think it's better to be placed on the bottom. Um, the speaker itself, it would be nice if it was placed at the bottom as well. But for it being on the back, it's not too bad at all whatsoever. Uh, it's not something that's going to deter me from wanting, you know, this device if I was on the wing of getting it. So anyhow, uh, it's very, very thin. I got to tell you guys that right now. So, I mean, if you're someone that's got butterfingers, you're definitely going to want to get a case for this because this will slip out of your hand. Very thin, nicely weighted. So if you want a phone that has some weight to it, so you feel like it's a more solid and uh, you know uh, strong device, well, this has some weight to it. So be expecting that. You do got a home button at the bottom, but it is not a fingerprint reader at all whatsoever. And you got you know uh, recent apps and your back button. To me, the display is quite nice. You know, I really dig the display. I do have a theme on here right now. This is Vietnamese Santa Claus. I <laughs> found this in the. Uh, the Samsung theme store uh, really nice and I love the fact that when you do theme it everything is themed uh, with Samsung devices so that's always cool uh, and of course you know you can make folders and stuff and whatnot and the amount of storage I have right here I got 5.1 gigabytes free to use 68% of my uh, storage is actually used up and um, I have my most used apps right here like Google Apps I have those um, in there. Social apps is right there. I have uh, streaming apps, which you know this phone can handle very well. Apps pertaining to my Pebble smartwatch and then Instagram apps right there. Uh, so and those are just the ones that I use. The fact that you know this is how many apps I have in here total. You know, three pages. Well, two full pages and like you know half half the third page is uh, how many apps that I have on there. So. A uh, really cool thing that I do love about this is Samsung Plus. This is actually really, really cool. Um, this is one thing I dig that Samsung gives you guys. Um, so, you know, you get some pretty much, you get information about Samsung right there. Um, of course, you, you know, it tells you, you know, just whatever's going on with Samsung news and stuff like that. If you hit the plus sign, you can search for issues or just for, you know, things that pertain to the Samsung device. There's a community that you can chat with other people about it. You can email them. You can call Samsung and you can video chat with a Samsung rep. So that's really neat. If you have issues with your Samsung device, you can utilize that. Talk with the rep. If you want to kind of just check your device out, here you have diagnostics. And one cool thing it has right here is it has a speed test. So you don't have to download the Okaloo um, speed test. You can just run it right here. And uh, so we're on Wi-Fi right now. So let's see what we're, what we're pulling right now. goes it goes to like 80 and drops down to 60 so we're getting like 70 megabits per second so not bad at all really not bad like 12 upload 11 upload I gotta probably gotta reset my modem because I'm supposed to be getting like 100 down or 100 up so like if it was 70 and 70 that's not bad but 70 and 11 that's bad but anyhow yeah um, but this is what the second channel pulls because my modem has two channels on it. It's got a 2.4 gigahertz um, signal and then a 5 gigahertz signal. But this is what, you know, you can you can do a speed test like, right from here. You can uh, see it right here. It tells me that I have uh, battery optimization is poor. So it's going to give me a bunch of suggestions to do. Uh, battery forecast says I, I'm going to get about 9.1 9 hours. So, I mean, you can do a lot of stuff from the Samsung Plus app. That's something that's really nice that's included in uh, with the J7. I think it's really awesome. And you also get this with the J3 as well. So if you have the J3, you should have Samsung Plus. 
If you don't have it, you should download it because it really will help you uh, basically keep your device optimized. And you know, if you have any issues, you can always run a diagnostic to see exactly what's happening with your device. That's something that I think you know all manufacturers should include with their smartphones as a way to run diagnostics. And that way you can kind of tell exactly what's going on. If you're having memory leak or anything like that with your device, you'll definitely know. It also has a RAM cleaner. So, I mean, I, I know I do have the, um, the HTC Boost uh, app, which will clean your RAM. But uh, it had its own native one as well. So that's always something nice. The cameras on here are absolutely cool. Now, they do take some really good photos with indoor lighting and low lighting. And that's something that I think is great. That's probably like one of the reasons that... You know, between the LG X Power and the J7, I'm always flipping back between either device. It just depends what I feel like. Like, if I want to use an LG device, I'll bust out the X Power, which I have right here. Um, I'll bust out this device. If I want to use a J7, then I'll bust out the J7. Uh, just depends what I feel like using. Both are phenomenally great phones, and as far as speed-wise, the X Power kind of does take it, even though it has um, a MediaTek chip, which people tend to tend to not see that it doesn't really matter that it's a MediaTek chip, that it matters exactly how well it performs. And the MediaTek processor on the X Power is slightly faster than the Snapdragon 615 on the uh, J7, but that could also be due to the fact of TouchWiz being on top of Android with the J7. It could possibly just, you know, slug it down a little bit. And so that could also be the issues of why it's happening, but nonetheless, uh, octa-core processing on the J7 is actually quite nice. Uh, watching video playback on here is actually really nice. The screen display is, is to me, still still stellar. Uh, vibrant, colorful, and popping is what I would uh, say to describe the display. So that's also something pretty good. And battery life, it says I'm going to get 9.1 hours. Uh, that's, I guess, if you keep the screen, if you're constantly on it. But, you know, I'm pulling more than 9 hours with uh, the 3,000 mAh battery. And I do love the fact that it's got NFC. And uh, if you guys don't know where the NFC chip is, it's actually on the, located on the battery right here. Is the NFC chip? You can actually, if you rub your your hand across the battery, you can feel it. It's slightly raised um, on the battery, and then you can feel it. You can feel the the line, the, the NFC line run right into the into the battery port right there. So um, your NFC chip is in your battery and not on the back cover like you know NFC chips used to be back in the day. They used to be on the cover. And uh, yeah, so you know, you can always get an additional battery if your battery gets warped out, and uh, you can get a replacement one. And you know, NFC will be just fine. You'll have it on the battery as long as you get it from Samsung. And I think some third-party ones may have the NFC chip in them as well. Uh, and then you can also get extra batteries that don't have the NFC chip, so you'll be a lot cheaper. Just have them as backup batteries in case uh, you know your battery dies or whatever, and you don't carry a power bank. Um, just having this device for eight months, it's still one of my top devices and it's one that I would definitely recommend for people to pick up if you're on the fence about it. Uh, it used to go for $229.99 but it's greatly reduced in price so this would be a, a stellar time right now for the holiday seasons if you ever wanted one to get one and if you ever knew someone that wanted one and uh, never got one well then you can get this for them for Christmas. I think right now it's going for I think $149.99 and it's like uh, re retails at $179.99 if I'm not mistaken. Um, it, had, it, was a, it had a killer deal on, on Black Friday. It was going for $89 bucks solid. That was that was definitely worth it. So, uh, But yeah, definitely one device to look at. Yes, it is a phablet, So, but if you don't want anything that's a phablet, you want something that's more just smartphone-ish, then the J3 would be a pretty good option to pick up. Um, I kind of wish that the J7 had the same color option as the J3. I mean, just, you know, a black front bezel, so, you know, this gives that, that, that uh, nice look. And then, of course, you know, either gold or maybe black in the back or gray. You know, white to me is just something that uh, gets dirty really fast. And, uh, yeah, so. But anyways, um, how do I feel about the J7 today? I think it's still as, you know, as great as it was when I first used it. And very enjoyable to use very powerful uh, for those people that are coming up from devices that have half the amount of storage and half the amount of RAM uh, you're definitely gonna see a great speed increase and you're definitely gonna have um, it's it's a great pickup definitely one that I would suggest so if you guys enjoyed this uh, video the J7 after eight months so uh, let me know by smashing that like button to let me know uh, subscribe to my channel if you have not links will pop up here on the display 
and uh, you can click them even on your smartphone. I don't know if you guys know this, but those little uh, windows and bubbles that pop up, you guys can click them on your smartphone, and it will bring you to uh, what what is linked to those. Uh, I don't want to say annotations, but anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this um, throwback review. Thanks for watching. As always, aloha, and see me in the next one, guys. Bye.